So Rosie, to celebrate the Rosie for Autograph Laundry collection, we have some fabulous questions from the MS Twitter followers. First up is Sabrina Gayor. She says you have a stunning figure. She's also a chef and she'd like to know what your favourite naughty comfort food is. Ooh. I live in Los Angeles now, so I cook a lot of English comfort food. So I'm kind of a good cook. I am going to put that out there. I'm going to boast about it. But my favourite things to cook would be roast chicken. I like to make chicken pie. I made a very good beef wellington the other day with an audience um, of guests, so that was good. And for pudding, I like a creme brulee. Michelle Kerr would like to know what things have inspired you to design the lingerie collection. The idea behind uh, the whole lingerie uh, collection is the idea of a rose. So the colours are all based on the colours of roses. We have a rose print in the lace and obviously the rose gold hardware on all the bras. And then uh, a lot of the inspirations that we took were from my own personal vintage collection. Jenny's question is, if you weren't a model, actress and now of course businesswoman, what do you think you would be doing? I think I would be doing something creative. I'd like to think interior design or design to some degree. Um, but that's not to say that I won't do it in my future, so we'll see, yeah. Libby Barrick would like to know, who's your personal style icon? Ooh, there's lots. I mean, I, I always love just sitting in, you know, if you're in the car and you're watching the world go by and watching girls on the street, I love, I love seeing what, what every type of woman wears, so, and that's where I get a lot of inspiration for, you know, when I'm designing as well, knowing what other women want. Uh, but my, one of my favourites um, would be Anita Pallenberg. Okay. Um, I also, you know, she's very rock and roll, rock yeah. chick, the original rock chick. Um, and then, uh, who else do I love? I love Diane Kruger. She has a gorgeous red carpet style as well, yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you. Astrid Saragi would like to know, what's the perfect lingerie in your opinion? Um, well... Rosie for all to <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really designed this line uh, for all women in mind, but I wanted to design something that I actually personally really loved and would wear. Just soft and feminine and uh, sophisticated, stylish, attention to detail, uh, which we, I think we really took time with that in this yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The question from Team Tiny is, do you prefer a night in or a night out? A few years ago I might have said a night out, but now I'm more inclined to say a night in, <laughs> yeah. Katie Wigglesworth would like to know, what's the very first thing that you do when you get home after working away for such a long stretch? Ooh, um, I get into bed <laughs> <laughs> Crawl into bed and fall asleep for a while, yeah. <laughs> Katie DeLuca would like to know what inspired you to design lingerie? I've been modelling lingerie, that was a big part of my career was, was working with big big uh, lingerie brands and so that was really where my passion came from and I've also been collecting vintage clothes and vintage uh, lingerie for many years now and so I just have a, a, a real love for it. Um, I find it just so feminine and very special, it makes me feel great. Um, and it's something for women, and yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cheryl Soldier, her question is, who was your biggest role model when you were younger? I mean, it hasn't really changed. I have to say, I know everybody says it, but my, my mother's been my biggest uh, role model, and she's been here with me today on yeah. my special day, and my granny and my sister. And so, you know, I, I take the women in my family to be my, my role models, and uh, they've been my support system. So I love them very much, yeah. Mm, great answer. Kayleen Urek wants to know, Rosie, if you could sum up your career in one word, what would it be? Oh, that's tough. Fortunate. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure that will uh, be, be a great answer for her. OK, we have another one. I'd like to know if you've ever thought about bringing out your own fragrance. Yes, I have thought about it. Watch this space. Yeah. And what would it be like? What's your vision for the fragrance? I mean, it's, it would be similar to the lingerie collection. I think uh, instinctively soft and feminine, strong and empowering for a woman, yeah. 
Sounds beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> whatever that smells like. And lastly, Genevieve Horson would like to know if you ever enjoy a traditional fry up for breakfast. Yeah. Almost every day I have eggs and bacon for breakfast, which isn't too bad, believe it or not. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rosie. Thank really you. great answers. Thank and thanks, everyone, for tweeting.